Now, the other way to place an implant is actually to do it on cross-section. So from the point that you have your panoramic image, you can, of course, generate some cross-section. For this, you go in this view, you click on this button, you select the view that you would like to see, let's say 3x3. Three three. There we go. And all my cross-sections are generated automatically. The yellow square here matches the yellow line here. The blue square here matches the blue line in the middle. And the clear blue here, this one on the right. Okay, so now if I want to position myself on a particular view, I can just simply click. I can simply click on the panoramic with the left click. And let's say that I want to place an implant here. I can simply angulate the blue line to be well perpendicular to the the eye arcade. And here we go. My cross section are automatically adjusted. I can see my Mandino canal here clearly. And then I can place my implant. I can go here again, add implant. Select the tooth that I want, OK, and then first click, left click, up, oh, sorry, I angulate again, and then I go increase the length, let's say 7, 8, 9, 9 millimeters. I have to be careful not to touch the mandibular canal here. I can re angulate my implants and of course I can see it on my cross section. If I want I can reangulate also on this view my implant. Okay let's say that the implant is perfectly well placed. I come here on the cross and I close. I can go back on normal view one by one. Zoom out and here we go, I've got my two implants here placed, my mandibular canal, everything is very nice to see.